Hey, this is Blind Sally. Welcome back to Truck Dinosaur Hunter Remastered. I'm going to play through this quickly, but not too quickly. I assure you this is not a speed run, although I have cut down my personal best time from half an hour to 50 minutes, and I'm rather proud about that. Today I'm joined by Ace Secure Planes. Hi. Say hi, Ace Secure Planes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi. Hey, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to the jungle, because we've found the hub runes, and, uh... The jungle's fun, although it's basically a, uh sort of redux of the hub runes. Although here's the first area that sort of teaches you to look behind the portal because sometimes you find goodies. Yeah, no, I'm, I, I, I'm glad you're back to speaking normally. I'm not sure what happened to you there earlier. It was a, <laughs> I think I had a stroke. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah, that right there was another gameplay mechanic. Uh, sometimes you jump on things and things happen. Uh, although I didn't need the shotgun there, so. I'm just gonna keep running through and shooting these Velociraptors. I'm uh, pretty sure that one guy was not a Velociraptor. He was... <laughs> he may have been poaching Velociraptors and may have consumed it, so, uh... There may have been Velociraptor in him. Oh, and here's our first portal zone. Oh my god, everything just got all fucking trippy. What the fuck? <laughs> Turok Dinosaur Hunter has, uh, portal zones in each of its worlds. There are two per world. And I believe in the N64 version, it was randomized, but I think in the remastered version, um, basically whenever you enter a portal, the first time you'll go to portal zone A, and the second time you'll go to portal zone B. And they're basically weird little trap rooms. Huh, okay, yeah, because I remember playing this game on the N64 way the hell back, but that is, that and the old Valiant comics are the extent of my knowledge of this series. That's honestly more than a lot of people. <laughs> a lot haven't read the Valiant comics. Like, when I was a kid, I fucking loved my app. The shit out of Exo Man of War and so such. Yeah, man, I haven't heard that name in a while. <laughs> I don't think I read as much as I uh, wanted to, although I did read almost every Acclaim Turok comic, for better or worse. <laughs> No, I, I'm all too familiar with Exo Man of War now that, you know, uh, I think it's a BSS mod that's named Exo now. So I suddenly right. got reminded of it. I, I just fell through a uh, platform there. That uh, log plank trail I was running on did have gaps I had to jump over, but uh, the part where I fell through, I usually don't fall through, so that sort of uh, threw me for a loop here. I know here's a secret area. I, I knew what I was doing when I jumped off that cliff, I swear. I was going to say, how many frames did you lose? <laughs> <laughs> uh, too many, too many. Heard a bit. I did not remember this game being so pick up a uh, yeah, There's a lot of pickups. Although these little triangles are just, they're Super Mario coins. Get a hundred and get a one up, so. I'm not really a big on the yellow ones, but if I see a purple one, those are worth 10 points. I will pick up those. <laughs> Yeah, no, like I said, my experience with this game is... All I remember is my parents getting super mad at me because it had blood in it. Wait, did you say parrots? Parents. Oh, okay, oh, big... <laughs> I'm glad you made the distinction. Though, now that you uh, mention it... <laughs> thanks for some good physical comedy. Um, speaking of physical comedy, uh, Turok can hold his breath for an absurdly long time. Um, this is one of the shorter underwater tunnels in the game. Um, and I don't know if uh, the gameplay uh, sort of gets it across, but when you swim in Turok, you actually have to keep pressing forward on the joystick or the forward key button, whatever, in order to swim. Otherwise, you just sort of doggy paddle slowly and don't get anywhere and drown. Huh, all right. Now, does this game have a plot as such, or is it just run around and kill things? Doom style. I'm glad you asked. Um, so, that key I picked up a few moments ago, um, I need to find them to unlock more portals so I can go to new parts of the Lost Land to find pieces of the Chrono Scepter, which is a magic wand that can rend holes in space-time, because a guy named the Campaigner wants it to conquer the world. And whoever runs, whatever CEO runs the Lost Land thought, this is a bad idea. So they sort of broke it into pieces and scattered about and said, Okay, Turok, I want you to clean it up. Yeah, because from what l super little I remember of the comics, it's like, this is a place where, like, past, present, and future intermix and, like, time has no meaning of some sort. And yes, that guy I just killed with the red laser beams had a laser gun. And 
we're fighting dinosaurs. So <laughs> yeah, so I think like there's aliens and you know magic and all sorts of weird shit going on at all at the same time. Along oh with, yeah, you know, bow hunting Indian men. Oh yeah. Right now the the escalation has been pretty low. We haven't seen too many strange things aside from guys with machine guns, these ogres and dinosaurs. That guy with the laser gun was the first hint that, you know, there's gonna be a bit more. Huh, alright, alright. So, I'm not completely forgetful. That little, uh, four-pillared column is where I need to go next. Ah, alright, alright. And, uh, I am super lost as is, because... No, no worries. <laughs> here's, here's an overhead map to get you reacquainted. Ah, okay, um, okay, good. <laughs> there's a lot of climbing in Turok. Surprisingly. You can't climb left or right. Once you're on a wall, you can only climb straight up. Can it mean it's like knock you down or stuff? Or is it just once you're on a wall, you're on it? Um, once you're on, you're on. You can jump off. I, I, you know, I don't know if you can get shot off. That guy was trying to shoot at me. I think you can get hit, but I don't know if you can get knocked off. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't, though. Um, because that was a long wall. A lot of walls are over bottomless chasms too, so that's a that's a thing. There's a lot of bottomless pits uh, in the Lost Land. I was actually going to just ask if there was falling damage until you took that giant fall. I was like, well, guess not. No, that's that's the funny thing. I like that there's no falling damage. Although if there's a bottomless pit, you'll die. So it's sort of an all or nothing thing. Oh, and here's a piece of that magic wand that rends holes in space time. All right, and secret area discovered somewhere. Yeah. That little four-pillared column that we saw was a secret area, apparently. Huh. All right. Yeah. Not that much of a secret, but... <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> uh. I mean, that's like saying this gigantic blue portal is secret. I guess it kind of is? Or a bonus, maybe? The portals, they're on a, they're timed, so they don't stay, uh, they pop up randomly and they only stay for a temporary amount of time. Oh my god, this is some pit and pendulum shit. I don't do very well either. Uh, yep. <laughs> Oops. Full health, immediately lost it. Congratulations. So these trees right here are a nice visual hint. Um, can't have trees grown out of nowhere, so, you know, you know to drop. Yeah, see, I would totally not have found that. My uh, sense of direction with FPS is just terrible, especially the old style ones. Most of the game gets mapped. Uh, this section doesn't, so it's a secret, so... Well, it's a true secret, alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret that's actually secret for once. Yeah. I, I really love that Turok doesn't take fall damage. I can't stress that enough. It's so much fun just dropping from a cliff. Oh god, the exploding arrows. I totally forgot about those. Those are so great. I, I thought that was... A weaker mook, but that was one of the bigger plasma gun mooks, so... I was gonna say, man, that guy takes a lot of hits. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have just taken a, an explosive shotgun to his face. And those things are just warps, I take it? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, with the bottomless chasms everywhere, um, getting around the Lost Land by conventional means is not good, so... <laughs> <laughs> a portal everywhere, really. And what was that? Why can't you pick it up? Oh, that was a save point. I I don't want to lose too many fla fla uh, flames frames per second, so uh, <laughs> I don't need the save second. point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's a weird mechanic that um, really sticks out in the remastered version. In the N64 ver version, the fog was so dense that you could not see the, cl the rocks that fell off the cliffs. In the remastered version, you can see that the rocks actually aren't falling from the cliffs and are indeed just suspended in the sky until you huh. trigger them. 
All right. And actually, now that I think about it, I think I did play another Turok game other than this one. I think it was one of the Game Boy games. Oh my god, was it the side-scroller one? I believe it was, yeah. <laughs> um, was it for the original Game Boy or the GBA? Uh, no, I think it was original Game Boy. Okay. I haven't played those ones. I know they exist. I think it was Game Boy Color, actually, but I just remember, it, like, playing the shit out of it and it being super hard. <laughs> I have um oh maybe it's maybe it's future bonus material. I have Turok Evolution for the Game Boy Advance, and it's basically just a Contra knockoff, 100%. <laughs> oh shit! It's it's pretty good. Yeah, better than the console Turok Evolution. Oh, um, I just found one of the best guns in the game. I'm never gonna use the regular shotgun ever again. Ooh, semi-auto? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, still semi -auto. This with the explosive shells is a dream. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty great. Uh, it's a shame I didn't pick up the backpack earlier, so I, I can't carry as much ammo as I want to. Fun fact, you need a backpack to carry more ammo. Huh, alright. And ran out of ammo, so now you're at the, what is it, not AK? Uh, precisely. And oh my god, what are these fucking things? I think they're called leapers. Um, just, uh, you know, indigenous to the Lost Land, live in caves, they're semi-aquatic. Amphibious, I guess. Um, and I, I think I just burst into their lair and massacred their entire family. So. <laughs> Great. Excellent. I approve wholeheartedly of any uh, family slot. I mean, I suppose I could have ran past them. But, uh, you know. I'm a dinosaur hunter, and I think... They're maybe dinosaurs. Well, you're a dinosaur hunter who has who holds the uh, water speed record. Yeah. <laughs> I, I kill a lot of humans for being a dinosaur hunter, as an aside. And I mean, this is just pure leg strength. <laughs> Your arms are busy holding this shotgun. Here's a, uh, okay, this tunnel's actually mapped, not that I need it, but, uh... Oh, coming up is something I hate. So this leaper right here, uh, I get caught on him, and so I can't keep swimming until I kill him. <laughs> nice. Go a collision detection. Hot damn, the way you're taking these corners, you, you definitely know where you're going. I would be like, um, okay, I'll double back this way. No, this is wrong. Um, fuck. Where's the last dead thing I killed? To be honest, I kept messing up the recordings and having to redo them. Like, thinking I had everything set up correctly, doing the recording, getting ready to upload it to YouTube, and then double-checking something and realizing, like, oh, I made a horrible mistake. I have to redo this. Yeah, I remember you bitching about your sound issues. It's like, oh god, now now that I watch this, it's like, holy shit, I would be pissed. Yeah, like I say, like I said in the very beginning, I, I brought down the original video I recorded was half an hour, and so I've played it enough that I've, I've cut it in half my playtime. So, Jesus, it's good man. And that's it. We all three keys and the current scepter piece. That level is done. Slot the keys in. Hot damn. Very nice. That's it for the jungle. Thank you for joining me. Yep, no problem. Pan up. Fade out.